This is a Weisberg Carabas 540, and that 540 refers to the fact that this is a 5.4 metre vehicle. It's a very compact vehicle, and they've packed a huge amount into it, so it's a really interesting one to show you. And the most obvious thing, it's an option on this particular one, but it's well worth seeing, is if you look at the top, you can see it's got what's called a pop top on it, and we're going to explain that in a lot more detail when we go inside. Now on the outside here, you can see things like, this is the cassette for the toilet, so you can take that out from the outside of the vehicle. Those are drains for the water systems down there. And this one's also got a styling package, so it's got things like the alloy wheels on it and that kind of thing. It's actually a really funky color as well. I think it's a great looking vehicle. If we come right around to the back, I just want to show you in here, because what they've done with this is they've put a fixed double bed in the back, which you'll see much better when we go inside. But what is clever, is they've done this so that you can take all of this out. If you look underneath, you can see it's on a slatted base and those two sections just lift out. You can also slide those parts there out and you can turn it therefore into something that you can chuck your bikes into the back of if you're just going out for the day and you don't want sleeping capacity. Or indeed you can put that all away to one side, put your bikes in and when you get to where you're going, take them out and make it up. So it makes it a really dual purpose area. I think that works very well. This little fellow down here incidentally that is for your gas bottles in there. So let's close that one back up. Because the thing I'm most excited to show you is this pop top, which is brilliant. There's a three meter awning on this one as well. It's another option. That's that fellow there. So you get a really nice big area out here with a bit of protection. And then this is where we go in. So we'll open that one just there. Hit that little button. And away we go. And the first thing you'll notice is these straps hanging down from the ceiling. And there's a very good reason for that, because this is that rising top. So what I can do with this, it clips into place. We've got to unclip so I can use it at the moment. Let's just move that one out of the way. There we go. And that then will just lift. How cool is that? And you can see now why these straps are there, because otherwise we could never get that back down. But what you've got there, there's a ladder that clips in. That's what these little fellas here are for. And that gives you a massive double bed up in there and out of the way. And of course, when you're using the vehicle, driving around in it, then you can just drop that down and it's a normal height vehicle. That's a very, very neat feature. That's the ladder incidentally just there. So that pulls out, folds out, clips in, and that gives you access. If we look up here at the front, then we've got the swiveling seats so that you've got that turning around when you're driving and the armrests of course drop down and then here it's based on a fiat chassis it's a 120 horsepower engine in this one you've got the head-up display on here for things like the speed you've also got navigation on here and this then is power sockets so 12 volt and your usb power there and it's a six-speed manual gearbox let's turn that one back around and then here You've got a table there, and then these seats, what's rather nice about this is they've both got seat belts on them. So four people can travel in this, properly belted in. Very nicely finished as well, actually, with this. I think that, again, is an upgrade. There's quite a lot of extras on this one. Let's head on back a bit further. This is storage up above, like so, and some neat lighting as well. So they put lighting in and underneath places like this. I think that works really well. Over on the other side, then, battery monitoring system. So that is controlled here so batteries tank levels basically all the monitoring systems for the vehicle are controlled there and that one is a central heating control and that little chap there's a usb again and then down here we've got the kitchen area so that has two burner hob that's what those gas tanks would be for back in that locker that i showed you and then the sink is underneath that one that of course just lifts up like so and underneath there then this is all storage down along here and that of course then is the fridge down underneath and more storage there and this is that bed that double bed at the back so you can see it's really nice you can leave that made up permanently you've got blinds that come across these back windows more storage again up here but what's great as i say is you can take all of this out and have that for your bikes or your deck chairs or whatever else you want to cart around or drop it in and have the big bed there as it is at the moment more lighting down underneath there and again this is all storage up and around 
all along here. So the amount they've packed into this for a 5.4 meter vehicle, I think is absolutely brilliant. And the last thing then to show you, of course, is the toilet that's in here. There we go. Perfectly decent size. Sink over here. And in fact, there's a shower that pulls out of there as well. Opening window in here. And these have blinds on them. So that just pulls up like so for a bit of privacy. It's neat, isn't it? There we go. I mean, the amount that they've got into here for a compact vehicle, it's just brilliant. I'm going to take a seat here, I think. I'll say a huge thanks to you guys as ever for watching, and a huge thanks to Nick Well Motorhomes. They've organised this tour for me, so I'll put a link to those guys in the description, and we'll catch you on another one of these again very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.